today i am going to discuss quiz case number 3 clinical history of the case and gross specimen examination findings were pr provided here we see the microscopy of the case gallbladder with inflammation will i show chronic inflammatory cells now we have some structures which are lying in the lumen adjacent to the mucosa higher magnification this has definite structure not it's not part of the villus structure of the gallbladder another structure here another here and another here no evidence of dysplasia of mucosa at higher magnification we saw this is the structure of the parasite which we are seeing in the gallbladder these structures do not resemble common known protozoa and helminthic intestinal parasites as we can see here we have amoeba giardia cryptosporidium egg of hookworm cross section of pinworm and adult hookworm none of these structures resemble the structure we have seen in the gallbladder upon reading the literature diagnosis of clonorchiasis of gallbladder was made with presence of adult worm in the lumen clonorchiasis is caused by intestinal parasite clonorchis sinensis also called chinese liver fluke and this is a human liver fluke this parasite lives in the liver of humans and is found mainly in the common bile duct and gallbladder and it feeds on bile these are believed to be third most prevalent worm parasite in the world and are endemic to japan china taiwan korea vietnam and southeast asia including india recent studies have proved that it is capable of causing cancer of liver and bile duct if we go through the life cycle of clonorchis sinensis we find that the first intermediate host of this parasite is fresh water snail second intermediate host is fish and definitive host is human and fish eating mammals such as dogs cats rats pigs badgers weasels camels and buffaloes if we see the diagrammatic presentation we have egg here which is taken up by the fresh water snail develops into a larva which enters the body of the fish which is eaten by the man and infects the gallbladder and bile duct and the eggs of the parasite are passed through stool and to repeat the life cycle morphology of the worm the adult worms are flat slender leaf shaped and measure between 10 to 25 mm in length and possess two branched testes the eggs are yellow to brown in color and measure about 30 into 15 micrometer in size the operculum has prominent shoulder rim here is the picture of adult worm this is the anterior end these are the testes and this is the uterus 
pathology caused by clonorchis sinensis. While most of the infections are normally asymptomatic, most pathological manifestations result from inflammation and intermediate obstruction of the biliary ducts. The acute phase of infection consists of abdominal pain with associated nausea and diarrhea. Long standing infections present with fatigue, abdominal discomfort, anorexia, weight loss, diarrhea and jaundice. Pathology of long standing infections consists of bile stasis, obstruction of bile duct, bacterial infections, cholangitis, periductal fibrosis and duct epithelial hyperplasia. Gallbladder may show acute or chronic cholecystitis. Unusual cases of liver abscesses due to clonarchiasis have been reported. Sometimes infection causes cholangiocarcinoma. Development of cholangiocarcinoma is progressive in nature. The take home message from this presentation is that one should be familiar with geographical and tropical pathology. Parasitic infections play an important role in tropical pathology. Index of suspicion should be high and every effort should be made to localize and identify the parasite. Thank you very much. Please look out for our next quiz case number 4.